Hey you! So today is going to be the second part of my haul video and this is going to include all of the higher end products since I couldn't put everything into one video because it would have been like super duper long. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have no idea why I look so orange in this video but seriously this is the third time I'm filming this same video. It's so frustrating but anyway. Um, please excuse my oranginess. I'm actually going to start with the things that I've purchased off online. So I'm going to start with this Ben Nye banana powder. And everybody has seen this. It's just a yellow powder setting powder for your face. I've used it a couple times. I don't feel like it's anything particularly special. But like I said, I've only used it a couple times. I do like it for my under eye area. But other than that, I don't feel like it's anything like super duper special. And then from Miss KL... I'll link it down below. I got this beautiful bag, which is a really nice purple color, like a purple hot pinkish kind of color. And then it's like super cute on the inside. It has this print. And it comes with this yellow kind of chain thing. It's really cute. And then also from Miss Kale, I ordered this Lime Crime lipstick. Can we just admire the packaging for a minute? It's amazing. I got this color. It's called Poisonberry. Uh, it looks like that. It's a really nice purpley color. And the only thing is that they claim that their lipsticks are really opaque. Why is my nose so itchy? So yeah, they claim that their nail polish, their nail polishes, their lipsticks are really opaque. But this one's kind of sheer, even on my lips. It's kind of sheer-ish. Kind of have to build it up, but it's still a really, really nice color. And then finally, my Sedona Lace Seven Piece Midnight Set came in, and they look really similar to the, what are they called, the Sigma Precision, Precision, I can't say that word, but it looks really similar to the the Sigma ones that are supposed to be like kind of like your fingertips, like to make everything really easy, and I've used these a lot lately, and they're super amazing. I've been really obsessed with buying setting sprays for whatever reason, and I bought these, these two from Skinnavia because they were having a really awesome sale on their website. These two were $45 as opposed to paying $29 for each. So I got this No More Shine Makeup Finishing Spray and this is for oily skin. And then I got the original makeup finishing spray for like just regular kind of skin. And next I went to the Sephora semi-annual sale and I got a couple things. I got this nail polish which is called Supercharged. It has a really big chunks of glitter and then like really bitty bitty chunks of glitter in it. It's a really nice over like any nail polish. It looks super nice. I got three um, eyeshadows and this one broke when I was filming the other one so I, I can't really show you guys this one but it's just an iridescent white and this one's called Flashy and Fierce. And then this one is called Famous and Fierce. So the darker color comes in both of the palettes. The only difference is the color, like that white color on this one and then the purple one on this one. And this one's an iridescent pearl kind of blue, um, purple color. It has a little bit of blue undertones in it, so it's really, really nice. And then I got this one, which is called the Wild Night, which is kind of like a silvery kind of blue. It's really nice. Looks like that. And then I got two lip glosses, which I don't know why I buy lip glosses all the time because I don't ever really wear them. I have like a an incredible amount and I never really wear them. But anyway, I got this one by Beauty Rush and this is called Secret Crush, which is just a pink with a lot of little shimmers in it. It's super nice. And then I got to this one, which is called Simmer. And I don't really like this one because, look at I hate lip glosses that come with this kind of applicators because those hold a lot of germs and it just gets nasty. This one is a peachy pink with gold reflux in it, so it's really, really nice. And then I had no idea that Victoria's Secret sold any kind of finishing sprays, but this is called Face Prime and it's a makeup primer and a setting spray, so you're supposed to spray this on your skin before you do your makeup and then after to set it. Um, and it claims to leave your makeup on for eight hours or make it last for at least eight hours. I've tried this once. I don't feel like there's anything really special about it. But for four dollars, I think it's really it it does what it claims. It does make your makeup look really nice and stuff, and it does make it last. So I went to Sephora and I picked up a couple things. Um, I picked up this daily makeup brush cleaner, 
and I bought it because I had the little one and I'm almost completely out and I absolutely love this stuff. It smells oh, amazing and it helps disinfect your brushes. I got two nail polishes and this is Sephora by OPI and this is called I Got a Blush on You. However, I don't really like it for my skin tone but it is a really nice pinky nude color. And then I got this Ella Masca Super Highlighter Green, Yellow Green kind of nail polish and this is called Rare. It looks so good on um, but you do need about two really good coats of this to get it to really get this color. And then I finally got a lip tar by OCC and this is called Anime which is a super bright pink, like hot pink. You guys cannot see how bright it is in here. And then I got this hand food by Soap and Glory and it is really nice. It's really moisturizing and it smells amazing but this little thing is $12 and for me personally it's kind of expensive because I am kind of OCD and I have to wash my hands like all the time like constantly so my hands are always really 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 dry and so this moisturizes it really nice but for $12 I feel like I'm just washing it down the drain. And from Sephora if you are part of their Beauty Insider Club and if you're not you definitely should be if you shop, if you shop at Sephora you definitely should be part of their Beauty Insider Club. Anyway, for my birthday, I received this little Benefits Their Real Sample Mascara, which I'm so excited to try out. And then I also got this Benefit What's Up Highlighter. It looks like this. It's really nice. And I went to Lush because I wanted to buy another big because I absolutely love this shampoo. If you guys have never tried it, save up for it and try to buy it at least once in your life because it's amazing. It makes your hair smell so good. It makes your hair shiny and it gives your hair volume. So it's absolutely amazing. And it just, it, it has, it can kind of creep people out if you don't know what it is. It has like this sea salt stuff, if you guys can see. So it's kind of different. It's really different when you apply it in your hair and everything. But trust me, it leaves your hair looking up. And then they recently came out with the big solid conditioner, which is just a bar conditioner. And this one also comes with coconut oil and a little bit of sea salt in it as well. So it doesn't feel like your normal regular conditioner, but it leaves your hair really amazing afterwards. Really soft and really shiny. They were having the buy one, get one free body soaps, I think, or not body soaps, but just soaps. And I think they only do it once a year. I, this is the first time that I had ever heard about it. And um, I got Sandstone, which I've been wanting to try for a really long time. It actually has, like, sand on the bottom or top, however you want to call it. And then it has, like, just regular citrusy kind of soap down here. And this is kind of like an exfoliator kind of soap. It's so good for your skin. And it leaves your skin smelling so amazing. And then I also got... Snow Globe, I believe it was called. It was only for the like Christmassy season, so I don't. I have it in my restroom, but I don't feel like it's even worth me showing you guys because you can only get it during Christmas time. But this one you can get it like just year round. And then from Ulta, I got two things. I got this Too Faced eyeshadow, and this is called Copper Peony, and it's like this really nice golden bronzy kind of color. Looks like this. Super pretty this uh, deluxe primer trio by Tarte and it comes with clean slate poreless clean slate flawless and clean slate 3d 60 or 360 creaseless 3d wow okay so what they are is a small eyeshadow primer and then two face primers I tried the poreless one and it doesn't really just work for me like it's not anything amazing or anything and then it has a brightening primer which I haven't used. Last but certainly not least we're going to talk about MAC and I got this Night Mop lip liner which is a very dark cranberry almost black lip liner. I absolutely love it because I've seen it all over Instagram. I've seen it all over Instagram and everybody is absolutely in love with it and I tried it in store and it looked amazing. So, yeah. And then I got this face and body um, foundation because this one has no SPF in it. So, it doesn't leave a white cast when you use fat flash photography or anything like that. So, it's amazing. And I'm actually wearing it right now. It's kind of sheer. It's not good for people who want, like, heavy coverage. This is a sheer foundation. It almost looks like it's not even 
foundation, like when you put it on, it's not after you set it that it really starts looking like foundation, but again, it's really, really sheer. It's not for someone who really wants heavy coverage because you would go through this whole bottle and you would not get full coverage. So it's something more like a light to medium coverage, which is different for me, but I'm absolutely excited to try it. This Fix Plus, and this is like the travel size. Do not buy the travel size. <laughs> Well, at least not in store because this one was $15 when you can get the whole big size bottle like the full size for $20 so if you're gonna buy the little travel size buy it online because they're $10 online they are $15 in store so this is like a complete and total ripoff if you guys watch my birthday vlog you know that I got Velvet Teddy and because I've been looking for a really nice nude color from MAC and then I also that same day I tried Please Me which is this nice and nudie pink color right here what it looks like and I fell in love with both of them but I got Velvet Teddy first and then I got this one which is actually what I'm wearing right now and then from the strength collection I got two lipsticks and then I have two on order right now but anyway those will be in and then I'll Instagram those but anyway I got Pink Pigeon and Party Parrot these are both matte I think all of the colors were matte so this one is called Pink Pigeon this one right here it's like a nice highlighter like neon hot pink color and then I got party parrot which is a kind of I don't know how to describe this color it's kind of like corally pink this is party parrot right here I know that once I finish editing and filming and all that good stuff and it's already uploaded online I'm gonna be like oh I forgot to show you guys this and that oh well we so please leave down below which product you would like me to do a review on or which product you would like me to kind of do a first impressions on or anything like that. Um, or which product you would like to own yourself. I would love to know which one you guys kind of want to try. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, bye!